What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a new mail day with a few exciting things here. Got some new repacks, some new singles, and then we have my first card that was authenticated by eBay. The kind of new uh, program they're rolling out, and I haven't tried it before. Tried it now, so I'll be getting into my thoughts, how it went, and if it's good, bad, my opinions on the whole process. So yeah, if you guys like these mail days, show support, drop a like, subscribe, it's free, it's easy, helps us a ton, especially if you are new. And also share, comment, ring the notification bell, and also sign up for a membership. Get some bonus videos, new one coming very soon, and new ones live not too long ago. And also help support us, links down below in that description. But yeah, let's uh, get into all the stuff we have here. If you guys like these mail days, let me know we'll have many more. Always like trying a bunch of different things. It's kind of an opportunity to show you what I've been picking up, chat about random stuff, and, and have some fun. So let me uh, get into these singles first. Some new stuff for the collection here. And you can see that one already, but got some Memphis Grizzlies action as always. Go Grizz. And love these here. Got some cool tops action. Rudy, my favorite. And then we got uh, Zaire. Got some Mike Conley. And we got another Rudy. So two Rudys here. And you know what? This Turkey Red set, I actually kind of like this one. I remember seeing it and I always just liked it. It's kind of cool. It's a little different and one that I'm a fan of. Then we have this center stage jaw actually given to me by center stage the uh, app check it out if you have not but there's literally an interset called center stage and they are called center stage that app i use to scan cards and get comps that's called center stage and they had this jaw and uh, they gave it to me when they saw me at the uh, vegas show so thanks to you guys really cool go grizz then we got rudy 24 of 25 love that this is the first off the line exclusive from recon and love rudy so really cool and it came with this green sticker so bonus we got this Clark. I actually posted this on Instagram. I had to, as part of a little challenge uh, with whatnot, I think it was, something they did real quick at the show was I had to guess the card that they were kind of having behind this little clipboard or something like that. And then I could ask kind of yes or no questions. And uh, eventually, if I got it right within, I think, 45 seconds, then I got the card. And I was able to get it right. So I got this Clark here, Mosaic 10. And then last one here is a Curry 9, high voltage. So it's cool cards. New stuff there. And... Yeah, there we go. Thanks to everyone, as always, who made a deal or sent stuff in. And now let's get into this one here. So, very, very interesting. When I first heard about it, didn't really know what to think of it. Most of the cards I buy don't need authentication. It's always nice to know your stuff's real, but they're not faking a lot of the stuff that I'm buying. It's um, mainly for, in my opinion, best for like maybe older stuff or things that are commonly faked. If you get a Jordan rookie or something like that, maybe. But the card here, for example, I doubt would be faked, at least not anytime uh, too soon. So let me show you guys the card we got and also get into this kind of program they have. So eBay partnered with the Certified Collectibles Group and that includes a CGC and CSG. And so they're the ones authenticating these cards here. So they do these for cards that I thought were uh, 750 or over, but this was not. And so I guess they lowered that threshold and uh, yeah, maybe they'll do it at some point for most cards and authenticate your uh, card. It is free, so I guess it doesn't really hurt. But yeah, I've seen them do it with shoes in the past. So it was cool to see it with these. And my kind of first thoughts was just kind of mixed. I don't know if it was necessary. And sometimes you just want your card or something like that to come in. But uh, you'll see this here on the listing whenever it uh, is, I guess, going to be authenticated. So it would be like a blue check mark there. And I saw it. So it got authenticated. Now, the card is shipped to the authenticator first. So say uh, the seller A ships it to buyer B. And in the middle is the authenticator. So uh, the person, instead of shipping it directly to person B, will ship it to the authenticator, authenticator then authenticates, sends it to the buyer. So it uh, goes like that, it takes a little longer, and I think it took around like nine days. So usually these come in like three, four days. So it took double the time, which kind of makes sense. Although I guess the kind of turnaround was not too bad. Um, but yeah, shipped in these things here, and they do a multi-point inspection on these, and then they shipped in uh, kind of like a box the size of this, and there's like protection, everything like that. So it was uh, pretty solid there. Now. This is shipped four days or less from the authenticator, which matched up with what I experienced. And there's a QR code in there, everything like that. And uh, all the card order details, stuff like that is on um, that little code. So cool. See, let's uh, see what's in here. Your collection is now upgraded. So first time opening one of these or really seeing them. And then we have this here, authentic without a doubt. Oh, whoops. Cool. Search is over for now. And yeah, this little blurb there. So there's a QR code, which I already removed. Um, that's just for the order details, things like that, authentication details. And yeah, there you go. You can also use it as a display stand, which is cool, I guess. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that's all on the piece of paper here, I think. And there's a little picture of three cards, I guess. All right. And then here is the card. Three, 
two, one. Ta-da! What do you guys think about this one? And this is a special card. Let me show you what makes it a little extra special. And around here, we like to make our eBay one of ones. This is definitely an eBay one of one, at the very least, in my opinion. So there's our little thing stand. Maybe we'll use it later. Most likely not. So here is what we have. There was a little code here, which I peeled off. And as you can see, there's a seal, void of damage. So there you are. Now, this is 75 of 75. This is the NBA 75th anniversary parallel, the first one they made for this year, which is the 75th anniversary. It's from Hoops, and it's number 75. Come on, that counts, right? You, you have a bit that counts. I think it counts. So, what do you guys think? Is that significant to you? If you're buying this card, would that matter to you at all, being number 75, and it's the 75th anniversary parallel? I personally think that's a really cool eBay 101 there. So, yeah, members, spam that eBay 101. But, yeah, there we go. So, it was a pretty cool card. Saw it. Picked it up, and I think it was like the 300 something range, so definitely wasn't 750, so it must have changed that, and I didn't hear about it. Um, haven't really been paying too much attention to it. But yeah, so there was that code there. Is this needed? I think yes, but not all the time. It doesn't hurt to have it. If you're in a rush to get your card, it might kind of stink, but other than that, I guess it doesn't really matter to have, as long as they're careful and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so mainly older cards, and maybe really popular cards, will get fake. You won't really fake a Cade Cunningham to 75, hoops parallel you won't see that often could happen but i doubt it for now at least and especially serial numbered so yeah i mean it was free nice turnaround so that's not too bad at all and um i don't think it's needed with everything they will give it to you in the future a lot so um yeah not too bad and uh most cards once again are not faked but it doesn't hurt to have it so that's just my opinion i don't think that that's really a bad thing at all um only con i really see is yet an extra person handling that card and then the time so hopefully they're not damaging anything hopefully they're careful um but at least from my early looks and everything like that it looks looks good so hopefully that continues to be the thing the turnaround isn't too long as you know the volume picks up but that's what i thought so comment your thoughts down below do you like that they're doing this do you not like that they're doing this is it good is it bad do you have a bad experience that you would like to share but yeah so overall i thought it was a solid and nice ebay one of one cade Really happy to get this one. Been hunting it since the product release. So happy to have this and number 75, which is, it's an eBay one of one. It's really cool. So yeah, there we go. Nice pickup. We'll put this over here. And now for our repacks. So let's start with these ones here. And we tried these in the past. They were very good to us. I want to try them again. So here's this one. We got Series 7 NBA Playoffs. So these are fast break repacks. And as always, the links will be down below in the description if you're interested in them for yourself. Let me know what you think about them. Good, bad, in the middle. But if this is the Fast Break Series 7, it's $40 plus shipping. There's 500 total packs made in this run. There's one slab, PSA 8 or higher in every single pack. 8 to 15 total cards. 4 to 10 rookies. 2 inserts. 1 base. There's 325 10s. And then there's 159s and 25 8s. So not a ton of 8s, but they are in there. Then look for Super Fast Break Packs with all 10 hits. Also, major hit slabs are one in every 20. And then some bonuses, there's 50 hobby packs, 50 multi-slab, 20 all major hit, and then there's 10 super fast break with four slabs and 10 old school. So, pretty cool, look out for that. Let's see what we get. We'll always find some cool random stuff in here, so maybe we'll find some more stuff that wows us here today. So, yeah, let's get these open. Let me get my handy dandy blade here. Actually, let me see if I can just look like that. Eh, I'd rather not. Something, I feel like something's gonna go wrong if I do that. So let's see what we have here, cut it like this, and let's see what we get. So first up is the slab, and let's see if it's a good one. Gotten some cool stuff before, once again, so let's see. Do we have a, oh, we have two slabs, I think, actually. I was about to say, either really thick, like maybe BGS slab or something like that, or we have two, and it is two. All right, let's see what this first one is. All right, first one is Ben Simmons Kablamo got Excalibur Ben Simmons nice all right PSA 9 remember when Ben Simmons was all the rage and uh he'll be back soon I think so we'll see if he can have a great career with the Nets all right next slab is oh that's pretty cool oh, hey so nice we got him twice got Shaq and Shaq and got Shaq and Kobe in the back, rhyme accidentally, and then uh, Pac-Man cards IG. All our social media is free and linked down below. But yeah, cool. I like that card. It's a seven. So yeah, but who cares? Nice. Let's uh take this out. 
It looks like we have a, a pack. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, all right, it's an old school. Ben Simmons is old school? Series 7 NBA playoffs, old school. Ben Simmons is old school? All right. All right, now let's see what's in here. All right, here's what we got. So we got some Dennis Rodman. And if I pass anything really cool, let me know that I don't recognize. So here's some of our old school. Got Hakeem. Old school cards. Got, ooh, Jason Kidd. I like that. Got LeBron. Hmm. Nice. Pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Don't have a ton of uh, the older LeBron cards, so it's cool to get these. And there we are. I don't think anything's too crazy, because if it was, it wouldn't just be sleeve. So probably just some various cool cards there. Marbury, and then we got a nice Jordan there. And looking at the designs is cool. Textured right here in the left. So some more cool stuff. Nice there. Pretty cool. Shaq, again. Tim Duncan, gold label. So... Sean Kemp, rookie, and, oh, so nice, we got him twice, Shaq, all right, now let's see what's in here, so what do you guys think, I'm not too sure in the value of the old stuff, so, how's the value on that one, let me know, I've opened this pack many, many times, so let me know if I pass anything crazy, but, uh, yeah, Parrish on the front, and we're just kind of flying through here, Sally, and there we go, all right, well, Here's our old school pack. Let's get into the next one. Let's see if this is also old school. Here's our slab at the top. Let's go into that. And let's see what we got. This time we just have one. So let's see if it's a good one or if it's a bad one or in the middle. All right, here we go. It is... Baisley. I have a decent amount of Baisley stuff. Always pops off at the end of the year. And young guy, we'll see what he does. But Baisley, Mosaic, Autograph, 9. I like that card. And then, let me guess, old school? No, alright, not old school. Alright. Let's see what we got. So we have Face Lonzo, AD, and um, Ben Simmons, numbered Simmons. Not, oh, 99 of 99. An eBay one of one day. Ja Morant, nice. Bane, nice. Kongwu, got Scotty Lewis. Jalen, hmm. Winter Jalen Green. Obi, Jayshon Tate, and Illusions. Is this Blaster? Okay. Okay. Let's see what's inside this Blaster pack. All right. Let's see something cool. Do we have an Acetate? I think we do. Oh, hmm. LeBron James. Nice. Amazing. And Woodard. Yay. All right. Well, Brown's nice. Next pack up. So far, fun. Get a lot of, as I said, cool random stuff that you just don't expect. And that's kind of the fun in it. All right. Let's see what's in here. Next slab is... Three, two, one. All right. Got a KD MB finalist silver 10. Cool. All right. I think I have a... Uh, I know I opened a lot of the Prism retail from these years, so I might have that one. I'm not sure. Not 10, but definitely have a bunch of those ones. Let's see what's in here. KD again. It's doubles day. KD triples day. Uh, Jalen Brown. Numbered? No. Quickly. Jaron. Herder. Got DeAndre Ayton. Tillman, Maze, and Jayshon Tate. All right, last basketball. Then we have some baseball. Let's see if we can get something good in the baseball. And I'm not a huge expert on baseball, so if I pull anything really cool, let me know. All right, last one. Will we get something cool here? Here we go. Three, two, one. Pretty cool. Clark, Mosaic, 9 of 49. Nice. Here we go. PSA 9. Ebit. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Where am I? Let's get this out of here. All right. Is that a flux pack? I think. Let's see. 
All right, got Brown, Brooks, Middleton to 299. Got DeRozan to 299. Got, oh, oh, Miles Bridges to 299, rookie. Huh. Well, thank you. Bagley, yes. Charon, Bamba, DiVincenzo, Terry, MPJ. That's a pretty cool Bridges right there. And three cards in a pack. All right, let's see what we have in Flux. Hey, doubles day. Bridges, Carter, and Bledsoe. All right, there we go. So what do you guys think of the basketball ones? We'll scoot these to the side, and let's get our baseball ones ready to go. All right. Let's see what's in baseball. So, Boomstick, opening day. Details for the product. So, $32.00. Plus shipping, 250 total, one slab, PSA 8 or higher, 8 to 15 total cards, 125 tens, 109, 25 eights. And there's boomstick packs with 20 hits, then 8 to 15 rookies, 2 inserts, 3 base cards, 5 all major hit redemption packs, there's 5 old school, 10 hobby pack, uh, rookie packs. So let's see what we see. I'm not a baseball expert. I do rip baseball and collect baseball off camera mainly. If you want to see different stuff, always feel free to comment down below. Like I do my baseball and you just keep it to myself but if you want to see stuff we get let me know and then stuff like ufc wwe soccer i don't know if you all want to see certain thing let me know maybe we can do it but maybe i'll go live on instagram and open some of those boxes because i do have some stuff i could open all right let's see what this slab is three two one kyle lewis nice silver and it is a panini one so there's no logos which i personally don't like the uh, no logo stuff so, yeah, it's a cool card, though, Kyle Lewis. All right. And what's in here? Kyle. Doubles Day. Kyle Lewis. All right, Devers and Vias. I'm just going to fly through these. If you see anything cool, let me know. I'll try to look at myself, but I don't know everything. Robert, that's kind of cool. And Trout. Rookie there. Brian Hayes. All right. And, uh... Carlson Red. All right, I don't think anything too crazy here. And uh, yeah, there we go. All right. Next one up. This one's feels much thicker. Maybe there's something really cool in here. Can I cut it a little carefully up here? It's tough because it's folded exactly the size of the slab. I want to reveal it nice and easily, but I also don't want to cut myself, which is why we cut away. All right. Let's see what's in here. This one is three, two, one. All right. Kevin Newman, nine, snakeskin prism to 50. Another uh, one with no logos, unfortunately. So there you go. All right. And there we go. That's pretty cool. Got a little something on the front. And a pack. And a pack. We Two packs. All right, let's see. We have a paper first, Chris Falmont. Okay, cool. And let's see what we see in here. Another one. All right, so we have a bunch of these actually. Are any of them really good names that I recognize? Maybe. I'm not. Sure. Oh, Volpe. I, I know. I know him. Go Yankees. 2006 tops. Intr okay, <laughs> let's get into this. All right, let's see what's in this pack. Oh, this one is uh, series one. All right. Let's find out what's in here. Okay. These cards might ring a bell to me because I did uh, collect baseball when I was younger. That's pretty cool. Mickey Mantle. Nice. And there we go. Last one right there. So... I don't know. I don't know where my uh, old baseball cards are, but maybe those were some of the ones I had in the past. All right, let's see what's in here. Anything cool? I feel like maybe something. Unless they're trolling us, which wouldn't be funny. Okay. Fly through here. See some rookie action. What do we have coming up? Oh, Garrett Cole. That's nice. I like Garrett Cole a lot. 
Sweet. I don't know if there's anything valuable. I highly doubt it, but love Garrett Cole. And that's a cool card, which I'll be keeping for my collection. And uh, that's it. All right. If anything was really cool or valuable, let me know. Last one here. Let's see what's in this one. I guess I could go like this, maybe. I don't know. Would that work better? Yeah. Oh, well. All right. We have a magged card. Huh. All right, let's see the slab. This is another uh, prism one. All right. Sound of all. So 125. Yeah, personally, I'm not really a fan of these these ones, to be honest. So let's see what that is. It's a really thick card in there. Okay. Let's see what this is. All right, three, two, one. All right, it's a Project 2020 Mike Trout. It's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know if that's anything too valuable. I know they made tons and tons of these. Never ended up buying any, but um, here we have this one here. So is this anything good? Here we go. And okay, we got an auto. Let's see what's in this pack. Let's see what we see. So auto to 99, Aaron Ashby. Posey Glaber. And... Right now, I don't recognize anything to be too crazy. And if there is, please let me know. I think that might be it. All right. Let me know if you saw anything cool. And our last repack of the day. Collector Kings. So this one, I have the information for here. It's on the box. Collector Kings sports card box for Collector Kids. So first edition. Ooh. Box includes one factory sealed hoops hobby pack. Or is it Hoops Hobby? Or poop Pack. All right, I don't know if it's Hobby or not. Got one Factory Sealed Absolute Football Pack. One Factory Sealed Old School Wax Pack. One Mystery Pack filled with top players. One King Hit. One King Bling. And it's a $20. I wrote that myself. And Kids Only. Which, mind trouble. All right, let's see uh, what's inside here. It's always, link will be down below. And let's open it up. Okay, so here's a little card there. Get that into focus. You can read that, pause it for a second if you want. All right, cool. Let's see what's inside this uh, this box here. So, get some pack action. Got a Cade, NBA Hoops. Is this a hobby? Might be. Can't tell. Oh, no, it's a blaster, I think. We have an absolute. And then, got a coin. Got a skybox, and then inside here is our last thing there. So let's see what's inside here. That should be it, I think. Comes with those two. Oh, I, oh, got a little crown on there. Hence the name. All right, put these to the side, right down there, and let's see what's in in here. So let's get into these uh these packs first. Hoops first. So. Maybe we can get one of those cool retail parallels. I don't know. All right. We have, wait, was this retail or was this hobby? Let's do a quick glimpse. Maybe I misread. Oh no, all right, I read right. All right, class of 2021, Trey Murphy. And there you go, Aaron Wiggins. That looked like gold to me, so I was like, wait a minute. Did I read that right? All right, here's Absolute. Maybe we can get a uh, Kaboom. Can you get kabooms in these? And, um... Uh, I don't think so. I can't, I can't read that, it's too small, but... Let's see what's in here. Alright, we have... Some base. And then some rookies. Uh, rookie Mills. And Evans, alright. Final pack. What is in this pack? Old school. Been seeing some old school action today. All right, here we go. Let's see if we see anything, and uh, let me know if we 
get something cool. Do do do, and there we go. All right, what's in this little pack here? Here we go. We have base card, Burrow base, Davenport autograph. All right, Giannis red hero, and then a KD a fractal there. Davenport autograph scripts. Nice. I remember when the Saints traded up to get him, and everyone was like, "Whoa!" But all right, yeah. Pretty cool. So that concludes our mail day here. We have a lot more stuff coming soon. Some really cool things. So stay tuned. But what was your favorite card you saw today? We have this one here. Comment your thoughts down below. Probably close off on this one because definitely yeah, my favorite. I love this one so much. My nice eBay one of one. No shame in saying that because that to me is definitely uh, a cool one. So you had a lot of fun as always. Many more mail days coming soon. Stay tuned. Got some really, really exciting ones. So trust me, you don't want to miss them. But yeah. Always fun, and uh, comment your thoughts and everything down below in the description, the pickups, repacks, and uh, all that good stuff. So, thank you for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.